How's it going today guys? Tomcat here and we're back in Spintar's Moderner with a video that you guys, I know I've been, I know I've been waiting to film this video because I was hoping for things like this to come back and I know that some of you guys have been curious as to when these things were going to come back, but this is Brown Bomber Raceway in Mudrunner. Now, if you guys have been around in the community for a while, you'll remember this map from the first Spin Tires game. This was one of the more popular racetrack maps and trophy truck maps. And we brought out a great variety of trucks to test out here. Please keep in mind that for the first part of this video, I mistakenly called the C10 an F100. That is all. Moving on. And to show you guys around the track and don't worry there will be multiplayer races coming very very soon you can definitely expect that but without any further ado let's get right into it and test this track out now let's go ahead and first off stick the body on this f100 and start it up and see what this track is like after of course after we fuel up because that's that's a little bit a uh, little bit important so let's go ahead and uh, we're, we're a thousand liters. I mean, we're at a racetrack. I'm not really concerned about it, but I am also going to turn. Wow. I feel like I, that sounds a little higher than normal. I mean, I'll turn it up. a. Oh God. I'll turn it up a little bit, but I don't want to mess with it too much because these trucks are quite loud or at least they tend to be. So part of me is concerned that it's going to be overbearing, but at the same time, it, it's weird because Sometimes they get overbearingly loud, and then sometimes it's like, I can't even hear them. So, with that being, wait a second. Bet you, bet you, bet you. Yeah, bet you it'll be a little bit better now. So anyways, picking up where we left off, this track is a lot of fun. And there have been a lot of little, oh god, I was really hoping the game wouldn't crash. But this, this map is actually helped out a lot by the fact that I have rock damage turned off through something called Mudrunner Mod. And basically what it is, is it's like Spin Tires Plus, but for Mudrunner. And it allows you to do a lot of things that we kind of always wished we could do, like turn off rock damage, freeze time, stuff like that. I also have time frozen right now. But yeah, this track is made better by having rock damage turned off. I'll definitely say that. Now, the designer of this map really did a good job placing objects and obstacles throughout the... Whoa! Okay. Placing objects and obstacles throughout the map. And one of the biggest things that he did that I kind of find... Whoa! Boom. Yeah, one of the things he did that I kind of find partially frustrating, but also partially a good thing because it improves the difficulty of the map, is placing, well, I should say strategically, boy! Oh, for God's sake! Strategically placing trees throughout the map as a way to challenge the player. Now, is it really pulling from the other side of the truck? Oh my God, you are! Why? 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 For God's sakes, why? You're not supposed to pull from there. Pull from here, and you'll be good to go. Come on, 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 come on. There you go. All right, release, and we're good to go. I love electric winches. Now, going back into high to get through that bumpy section, the nice thing about this map is that, well, I, I should say one of the standout features is the fact that sometimes you'll occasionally find trees or rocks placed like, like that one, for example, either kind of in the middle of the track or sort of on the line oh my god i hate this jump okay i really don't like that jump and i'll tell you why it's got a little dirt mound right before you actually would leave the jump that makes it so difficult to hit that jump properly it can be really 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 frustrating if you're not going insanely fast and frankly i don't know if this truck is fast enough to make it you know, to make it over that jump perfectly, or I just haven't hit the right line yet, one of the, either one of the, wow, that was terrible, but either one of those options could be 100% true, and it's one of those things you're just gonna have to get used to, so, overall, though, this track is really well engineered, this truck does well for most of the jumps, it, it, it just, it just works, man, the, the trees, though, the trees being on the racing line, well, they're not always, I shouldn't say they're not always on the, oh, that's gone well, not, um, the trees being on the, I wouldn't say the racing line, but kind of the, the track line, when I say the track line, kind of like just throughout the line that someone or another is going to be forced into, like that one right there, someone or another is going to be forced into that in your, when you're racing in multiplayer, and whoever it is, is going to be, let's say, rage-induced, uh, if they are, dude, 
but yeah, if, if they're if they're any form of wow, if they're any bit competitive at all, they are going to be mildly rage induced uh, by being pushed into any of these trees. There's two that are both on the line. Um, that not really. I shouldn't say when I say the line. All the track people are gonna go. That's not the line. The line is the single perfect racing line around the track. The line, when I say the line, I don't, I don't mean the line, I mean the line that someone's gonna be on in a multiplayer race because they were pushed into it or forced into it. But regardless, they're there to help even out the field, in my opinion, and I think they do a really good job of kind of figuring out where someone's gonna come in on, like, figuring out where, you know, how to kind of kind of play havoc with the grid order, put it that way. And when I say kind of play havoc with the grid order, I mean that someone or another is going to hit that tree. I almost hit that tree. But someone or another is going to hit that tree, and somebody else is going to slingshot up to the front. So any kind of race with hazards is going to have that dynamic. And I think that it really, I mean, it's good because also if you're headed straight for that tree, you've got to do something to avoid it. And it might cause you to come off of your fast line to go into, like, to avoid that tree. Now, we've done it in the F100. We're going to try it in something else. I think I want to try it in the other F100. 100, which is kind of silly because this is not made for racing, but let's give it a go and see what freaking happens Things fast things real fast It's also real stiff the suspension to oh my god all it wants to do is bounce around that is literally a hundred percent it all it wants to do is bounce around and my god if if there's no like <laughs> if if there's very little, let's call it very little suspension travel. Uh, that, I, I, I'm gonna say, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the idea right there, is that there's very little suspension travel on this thing. But, I mean, again, you know, this wasn't exactly made for racing, but you could use it for, for such things. If you really, if you really wanted to, you could use it as such. And I think that it's, it's actually kind of funny, because when you use this thing in an environment like this, you're like, uh... That's not set up for this, but it's also fun at the same time. It's like, I mean, what's a good analogy of a way to describe this? It's like, it's like putting a 1,000cc sport bike on a go-kart track, if that makes any sense to anybody whatsoever. It's a bit of a weird analogy, but that's what this thing feels like here. It's literally, it's like you took a 1,000cc sport bike and you were like, here, go-kart track, have fun. And most 1,000cc sport bikes are gonna be like, uh this is not right for this and you would be right it wouldn't be right for this just as this thing is not really right here but oh i want to know if it can make this jump it probably can't it's probably gonna get hung up because of that mound come on oh my god okay before we go any further i just realized that i called the c10 um an f100 and i feel really 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 bad about that and i know that a ton of people are gonna be really upset about that, and I understand why, because, I mean, one's a freaking Ford, and one's a Chevy, I mean, of course, if you get those confused, people are gonna be like, what are you, some, un some, like, non-American, I mean, <laughs> for God's sakes, though, like, I, I should be able to tell the difference between a C10 and an F100, and I can 99.5% of the time, but I should say 99.9% .9 of the time, because I've never done that before, Ever. I've literally never done that before, but you may be wondering why we are in the other F-100 right now, and that is because we are on our way to mount a rescue of the quad cab F-100 because it's a bit screwed at the moment, and when I say it's a bit screwed, I mean it's a bit, like, stuck, lodged, pinned, whatever word you want to see right there. So let's go ahead and, oh god, find our way... Up through here without flipping over, like, please, plus, pulls, okay, whatever you want to say. And hopefully, the rear axle doesn't get caught on the ramp, because I'd, I'd just be, I'd just, like, it, it, it wouldn't be good. Alright, let's go. That rear axle's screwed, isn't it? I mean... Oh, yeah, that, that truck is dead. At least just for right now. Oh, we can't pull it, or we can't push it back? Are you freaking serious? So the only way to save it is going to be to go down from underneath and rescue it that way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, um, yeah, no. I, this thing is getting, that thing's getting rescued. Because honestly, there's no way I want to mess with that. Come on. 
This thing takes forever to start. It literally just freaking takes so long to start. You you could like read a book it in between the time that this takes to start and the time that it actually gets going. Regardless though, I do enjoy driving this thing. It's fun from the interior view for a little while until you realize the inferior view. Oh my god, is so manic that it's so difficult to actually keep this thing under control from the end to Jesus. From the interior view, it's so hard to keep this thing under control if I could get a word out while I'm freaking driving this thing. Because my god. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and do it. Oh my god. Let's go! That's a tree! <laughs> I don't know how I saved myself from that, but I am so incredibly grateful that I did miss that tree. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my... Holy crap, this is the same spot as last time. Ugh. Alright, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yes, 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 yes. It's just kind of like... Poodling along. Or it was, anyway. Come on, no, 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 Okay, I was so worried it was gonna get caught up in the... Whoa, caught up on those, like, on those ramps. Come on! Jeez! Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, go around the outside then, I guess. Get it? Ooh, so sketchy! Oh, that's gonna be a crash. Hey, the tree saved us, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It takes forever to start up. God, this truck takes so long. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 don't do no, no, speed. Whoa, whoa. It just loses so much speed and then it freaking dies. Whoop, a little bit of a jump. Nothing too crazy. I just want to keep this thing moving in a straight line, man. That's like, that, that's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. <laughs> Come on. Go, 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 boom. Uh oh, 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 jeez. Oh. <laughs> and then just with a boom. Wow, okay. That was a lot less dramatic than I freaking thought it would be. I love this map. I love it. I... I have so much fun here. I have way, way, actually, I have probably way too much fun here. Uh, it, it's a blast, man. It's an absolute blast, and oh my god, I love it so much. But if you guys enjoyed this video of me just kind of like, frankly, just having a good time, don't forget to click that like button, tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later, and I'm gonna try and say that faster every single video I do, but uh, probably, probably won't, because I'll eventually start probably stumbling over my words, and, blah, 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 and and eventually, and eventually, I'll have to slow it back down, and then practice it again. But, I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.